Yo, fam, what's good with you? Look, fam, look, this is just a quick uh, public service announcement for your boy. Look, fam, check out the 2A NLA official merchandise store. We got some of the hottest gear out there, whether it's your right to bear arms cap or your 2A NLA love guns cap or that love guns tumbler that's no joke and for you more sophisticated folks you know you got that love guns wine chiller all right if you look down in the description of the video you'll see the link to the official 2a nla store 100 percent of the proceeds from the store go directly back into the channel to bring you better content all right thanks let's get this video rolling YouTube family, what's good with you? It's your boy 2A in LA as always fam. Anything I say in this episode, prior episodes and future episodes, it's just my personal opinion. Don't take it as fact. Don't take it as law. Always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions. Right about now fam, I should go ahead and tap that like button for your boy. If you're new to the channel, I want to say welcome. Come on in, join the congregation by smashing that subscribe button and requesting all post notifications. And if you are an existing supporter of the channel, fam, 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 I appreciate you more than you can possibly imagine. You are the reason this channel is anything. <laughs> all right, look, fam, let's get this episode rolling. So look, fam, every year I put out my dream gun list and if you look back over the years whenever i drop my dream gun list a lot of those dream guns in the fall <laughs> during that year and so my dream gun list is starting to get smaller so i guess in some ways that's good it's also starting to get more expensive <laughs> which is not good but it is what it is so I've got about eight guns that are going to make my 2024 dream gun list. And we'll see how many of these we can knock out in 2024. First up on my list is the Watchtower Apache Pew View Edition. I'll run some footage on this so you guys can check it out. Look, fam, this gun is sexy. It is drop dead sexy uh, 2011. Um, Reviews on it have all been uh, really good. I've had the opportunity to see it up close in person. Um, this is one uh, where guns have, are starting to come out. They haven't really hit here in California. That'll be soon, but it's on order. And uh, it'll definitely be one that we pick up in 2024. The Watchtower Apache Pew View Edition. All right, fam. This next, so you guys know my collection is crazy and it's very broad and it's very diverse. The one area that I really, really haven't jumped into are race guns, like really race guns. I'm not talking about competition pistols. I have a lot of those, but I'm talking about a race gun, like the Phoenix Trinity, like the Phoenix Trinity Honcho and race guns like that. The one that I think, and, and I don't think I'm going to dive down in the well. I don't see myself getting like six or seven race guns, but I do feel like I should have one in my collection. And so one of my dream guns uh, that I haven't, and I had the opportunity to get, but I had other stuff going on. It just wasn't the right time. But one of the dream guns that is on my last list is the Atlas Chaos. Fam, you guys know what I feel about Atlas. I feel like their engineering, their machining, their design, they do, they make phenomenal guns. And I have had the chance to shoot the Atlas Chaos, and I've done a review on it. Uh, it was just one of my subscribers' guns. Uh, so I probably will pick up a Chaos sometime, uh, I don't know, in 2024. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see if everything aligns and I find it for the right price in 2024. But that is on my dream gun list, the Atlas Chaos. All right, fam. Next up, you guys know I love all things 2011. And so um, if there's a 2011, a quality 2011 out there, 
I definitely will try to uh, pick it up so I can experience it. This one I have had the opportunity to shoot at a covert range day and I thought it was spectacular. I am talking about the BG Defense 2011. Um, they have dropped now. They're starting to be out in circulation. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that one could find its way into my collection in 2024. But again, very well constructed, great parts, great shooter. Uh, the BG Defense EG20, the EG11 will definitely be on the Dream Gun list for 2024. All right, fam, next up, you guys know, you guys know, know that I am a lover of Terran Tactical uh, Tune Firearms. Obviously, I have several in my collection. The one I don't have uh, that I'd like to go back and scoop up, my initial focus was on the Pit Viper and the Sand Viper as far as pistols go, but I want to go back and pick up that Terran Tactical Combat Master, the John Wick 3, the one that was done in coordination with Staccato. I did a box review uh, on this a few weeks back, and I'll put up some footage of that, where they had two of them in a box set. Well, I don't want to spend 20000 on a box set, but I would like to pick up one of those to add it to the collection. So we're going to add that uh, as one of my 2024 Dream Guns. And maybe, who knows, maybe we'll find one and source one in 2024. All right, fam, next up. This gun, since, was, since I'm on my Terran Tactical-ish, right? since I'm on my Terran Tactical-ish, I might as well talk about the Terran Tactical John, Wynn 4, John Wick 4 Gen 12 shotgun. I don't know if you guys saw this shotgun in the movie. It's insane. It's insane. It's a semi-automatic shotgun, detachable mags. It's stupid crazy. Right, it is an amazing shotgun, um, and I'm hoping one day I'll be able to source this. This is definitely on the Dream Gun list. Don't know if we'll get it in 2024, uh, but if I got it, after, if I have the opportunity and the means, I'm definitely going to jump on that one. All right, fam. This next one is one that I feel like I need. I I like. The AK-47 platform, as you guys know, I have a tricked out uh, Arsenal Sam 7. I'm going to be doing something uh, with that to enhance that one even more uh, coming soon. And you guys know I have that Maxim Defense uh, PDX, which is a short-barreled AK-47. I want the ultimate AK-47, in my opinion. And the Meridian Defense Volk is that beast. This is one I have had my eyes on for a long time. They are hard to come by. There's a long uh, wait list for them. They don't produce a ton of them. Um, it's an expensive price point, but if I get the opportunity, and again, I have the means, believe me, the Meridian Defense Volk is on my list of pickups without a doubt on my Dream Gun edition for 2024 is the Hayes Custom 1911 Double Stack. Now, a lot of you guys probably have not heard of Hayes. Uh, they are not a household name like a Staccato or an Atlas or a Terran Tactical. That said, don't be fooled by the lack of name recognition. They make some of the finest firearms on the planet. And they are releasing their their custom 2011 line. Uh, you're going to see a lot of these guns start to come out in 2024. This one is definitely, definitely, definitely on my list to cop. Uh, it, hopefully, I can source one in 2024. It'll make my, make its way into my collection. Uh, they make a beautiful, beautiful firearm I put up. Uh, some pictures or footage of what Hayes 2011s look like. Um, but yeah, fam, this, this Hayes does their thing. <laughs> Hayes does their thing. So don't be surprised if we find one of these in 2024. If not, though, it'll be on the Dream Gun list until we do. All right, last, fam, but certainly not least, 
this is kind of the grail gun. I feel like if you're a collector, every collector needs one of these. And of course, I'm talking about an Infinity 2011. Uh, Infinity has for quite some time uh, been the standard. Now I've had a chance to shoot Infinities and they make a terrific gun. That said though, I've shot three different Affinities. All of them were incredible. I don't know if any of them were better though than my Atlas Erebus, if I'm being 100% honest. And for you guys, for you fanboys out there who are going to start blowing up my comments about how great Infinity is, I'm not disagreeing with you. But if you haven't shot an Atlas Erebus, then shut up about that. Shut <laughs> up about that. If you shot both guns, then we can have a conversation. But in any event, I think Infinity makes a tremendous firearm. I feel like as a collector, my collection wouldn't be complete without one. So that will definitely, definitely, definitely uh, be on my dream gun list for 2024. Not sure if one will find its way uh, into my hands in 2024. Maybe. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but it'll definitely be on my list. All right, that's it, fam. So those are two ANLAs, Dream Guns, for 2024. We will see uh, around this time at next year how many of those I actually was able to pick up. All right, that's it for this episode, fam. Until next time, as always, take care of one another and peace.